Hi, you are watching Coding with Anthony, and today we'll be creating checkbox forms like in this window here. So, where we answer questions, it tells us how much we got right on the quiz, and it gives us a score up here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go to our desktop and create a new folder and call it checkbox create a new file, a new text file, call it checkbox.html, you can call it whatever you want as long as it ends in .html new folder called CSS a new folder called JavaScript or JS and a new text file in here script.js and a new folder, a new file in the CSS folder called stylesheet.css. Okay, now that we've created that, we're going to open this folder in Atom here, my IDE that I enjoy. So let's get that here. Okay, so let's go straight, let's dive straight into it. So we got checkbox here. We'll start with our HTML tags. Then we create a title. Checkbox form example. Close the title. And now we're going to create a, a link to our style sheet. And a rel, which will also equal style sheet. It tells the program what type of link it is. Okay, and now we got to create a script pointing to our JavaScript file okay and close that now this is all supposed to be in a head tag I forgot to do that so and let, okay and now we close the head tag now we create a body tag close the body tag close the HTML tag alright in the body tag we're going to start with the div and it's going to be given the class of header this will be where our header file go all our header information now let's close that div and inside in here we're going to give a, a title to our website we're going to call it checkbox form practice test and I made a mistake here by we gotta close that and close the h1 tag and within the header tag we're gonna do another div to hold our score okay close that and inside here we're gonna do an, an h2 tag it's gonna say uh, you scored not yet attempted okay now we got that now we're gonna do a body class in our for a div body oh I made a mistake here this has to be ID okay inside the body we need to create a we need to create a form and give it a name of quiz and an on submit of of on submit and it's got to be return on submit and this will this points to a to a function we're going to create called on submit and when you click the submit button um, it will access this function alright so now we gotta create a under here we want to create a div of class equals question okay and inside the question we're gonna add a a title for the question so which of the following are vegetables and 
we're going to do an input type equals checkbox name equals q1 let's checkbox one and uh, value equals a and we're gonna do a dot caret will be the answer and we're gonna break it and we'll do this a few more times input type equals checkbox name equals question one checkbox one and the value will be b and b will be a fruit bat all right let's 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 speed this up a little okay we're gonna copy and paste it five times so we got checkbox three checkbox four checkbox five value c d and e c d and e and we're going to change this to orangutan broccoli and squid okay so we got that done so we're going to copy and paste this here the whole question div down here and uh, let's copy three of these because we have eight questions here so question six seven eight e f g h e f g h and uh, the question is going to be which of the following are baseball teams and we got the arborists astros Dodgers, Monkeys, Giants, Sea Turtles, Rangers, and the Ghosts. Okay, and now we need a under the question we need a button button of the type submit and with the text in it will say submit quiz okay so if we save this and paste it in here we should see our quiz looking good so far so let's go into our CSS file and edit that and start with the header so we need a text align of center we need a color of yellow we need a padding of one zero one zero gives us space on the top and bottom and we need a background image of linear gradient and we're gonna create a linear gradient I like let's do orange we need three hex codes uh, three hex values in here Oops, I forgot to do hex. Well, okay. Alright, let's save that and see how it looks. 
didn't work so I'm assuming I forgot to type in style sheet here it needs to be dot CSS let's take a look now alright looking good our padding didn't work oh because I needed to put a colon in here and give us padding let's make a radi a border radius of 20 pixels and that'll give us a nice rounded look to our our box here okay now we need to work on the body so we need a text align of center we need a border style of solid we need a border of three pixels on each side and uh, we need a margin top of uh, by uh, 10 pixels give us space between between the header and the body and let's do the border radius 20 pixels and I think that'll do it okay and now let's do question using the same uh, some of the same stuff as the body so we don't need text align center we do want border style and we want border but margin we don't need this it needs to be margin of 10 pixel uh, 10 pixels on top 15 percent left 10 pixels bottom and 15 percent right we need a background color of gray of light gray and looking good and we need a padding at the bottom of 10 pixels this will create a nice space in between there then to make it more readable there we go and we got that part done now to the JavaScript so we're starting out by creating our function and if you remember the on submit function is activated when we click a uh, the submit button on our form we're going to need some variables here okay we need question this this is going to hold the answers the the user inputs array to hold the answers the user inputs let's copy and paste this here and change it to Q2 and then we got a number of points possible I mean a number of questions first and then and a variable to hold the number of points possible and we need a uh, answer array and our answers are A and D and this is array that stores the correct answers and then we got var Q2 answer array let's see we got B C, E, and G. So now we're going to store the answers. Uh, we're going to store loop through the through the first question and store the answers the user inputs into 
the Q1 array. So here we go. So we go for for variable i equals zero, i less than five, because that's how many questions are in the first question. How many check boxes are in the first question? I plus plus. And then here we go if document dot forms quiz now if you remember this for this quiz points to our form right here and then we got q1 cb plus i okay since we're starting at one we have to uh, do i plus one because it's one higher and then dot checked this this checks this if statement checks to see if the current check box is checked and if it is we push it into the an the question array that stores the answers push the user's selected answers into the Q1 array. Alright, so let's test this out. Wait, the, the empty space. So we're going to say alert Q1. Let's save this. Refresh this, and this one should do A, B, C if it's working. And it didn't work because I have a Q1 here, and that's just supposed to be Q. Okay, let's try again. C, it's just one should respond with C, D, E. And it didn't work. So, what other. Oh, I forgot C. This is what it's supposed to be here. Q1 C B. That's where I went wrong. C D E, and it's making me look bad here. Okay, so I found the error, and it's in our HTML, and it's got to be a two here, and we better fix it in the second one too. So let's save it all, and when we do a refresh here, it should give us A, B, C, C, D, E. Well, at least it's alerting us now. Okay, another thing I missed was semicolons after these two arrays put the semicolons in here okay so I found the error if you go back to the HTML file and change this to question 2 it's gonna work now so I'll just click file save all and it'll tell us the letters of the ones we submitted so uh... I need to change that in there too. I was messing around with it off video. So Q1. So if we do A, B, C, we'll get A, B, C. If we do 
B D E. We'll get B D E. There we go. It's working now. Okay, so the next thing we'll just copy this loop again. Change that to Q two. Change all this to Q two here. Alert Q two. Okay. Let's do an alert Q2 and make sure that's working. So we should get DE. And let's see here. This has got to be an 8. C D G F will give us G F G. Okay, so we got that working. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna check the questions. Okay, so we're gonna loop through each question. So first we're gonna do a bar is correct which is going to be a boolean and a Q score which holds the score for that question and uh, for variable i equals one i less than equal to num of questions i plus plus and we set the Q score at the beginning of the loop to equal zero and now we do for j equals zero J is less than eval Q plus I dot length J plus plus loop through each questions array question answer question user input array and now we do an is correct equals false so this at the beginning of the question it says it's false and if it becomes true then we change that to true now we loop through the answers arrays for where k equals zero k less than eval Q plus I plus ands R eval is a statement which uh, allows us to use a a num a variable number uh, I mean a, a number that change that can change such as in a for loop so this actually brings up Q and the number of the loop so if it's loop one it'll be Q one ands array and if you remember that we created the answer right here so it'll loop through that dot length and k plus plus okay now we have to uh, compare the values so if eval q plus i so if q1 or q2 whatever loop we're on and element j so it goes through the, what element it's currently on is equal to the answers array and we're going to do element k which is this current iteration we're on and then we do a is correct equals true so now we set the is correct to true set the is correct is true for the current checkbox and increase our Q score by one
now if uh, let's see q plus i plus plus n's array so basically if we we're now we're going to take the length of the answer array which means once we're at the end of the answer array I think it's k plus 1 because we started at 0 and the length of the array um, will be one longer so uh, once we're at the end of the array and and the answer is not correct but at this point at the end of the loop then we do school Q score minus minus so we take away one from the the current the question score and uh, finally at the end of the loop if the Q score is greater than zero because we don't want them to lose points if they miss too many if they if they put in too many wrong check boxes if it's greater than zero score plus equals Q score so we don't want it to give them a negative score all right and we're actually we actually need to push this out one here okay now we're going to create a results variable to store the element and the element we're going to store is called results and now we're going to access the results and save in it an h2 tag which says you got score correct answers Okay, and then we're going to do an alert. You got score correct answers. Okay, let's see how it goes. Let's save this and refresh, and now we should be able to say carrot broccoli, and that should give us two out of six. Oh, we need to return false here. Okay, so let's see where we went wrong. Oh, we forgot our semicolon here. Okay, so I found the error. We need to have else if. Let's save that. Now we could choose the different variables. So carrot broccoli should give us two points. You got two correct answers. And if we add Dodgers, Astros, Giants, Rangers, we got six correct answers, but if we do uh, two wrong answers, it'll drop us down to four. And there you have it. That's the, the quiz using checkboxes. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. And if you like it, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.